next prayer session is right to new and abundant life. I'll be reading three scriptures for us this morning. The first scripture I'll be reading is John 10.10. 10. John 10.10. 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. You will have this life more abundantly in the name of Jesus. Every work of the thief in your life is destroyed this morning in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. The second scripture I'm reading this morning is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Things will become new in your life this morning in the name of Jesus. As you hold on to Jesus and pray to him this morning, he will answer you speedily in the name of Jesus, giving you a new life, an abundant life in the name of Jesus. The third scripture I'm reading this morning is taken from Romans chapter 6, verse 4. It says, Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that Jesus, just, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. You will walk in the newness of life in the name of Jesus. I want somebody who has accepted Jesus as his Lord and personal Savior here tonight to jump up to his feet and begin to appreciate the name of Jesus. That name that is above all names. That man of Galilee that came here to die for your sin. I want you to begin to appreciate God for the sacrifice of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, the ancient of days, the I am that I am. Thank you, the lily of the valley. Thank you, Lord, the one who died for my sins. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. We are going to thank God for these three scriptures I have read to you. You are going to say, Lord, I thank you. For you have overcome, that you have come, that I may have life, and that I may have it more abundantly. Thank you, Lord, for you have come, that I may have life, and have it more abundantly. Lift up your voice and thank Jesus. Thank him. Let everyone hear your voice this morning, that you are grateful for the sacrifice of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for you have come that I may have life and have it more abundantly. Thank you, sweet spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for coming, that I may have life and have it more abundantly. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You say, Lord, I thank you for the privilege I have in Christ to be a new creation. All things have passed away and all things have become new for me. Begin to appreciate God tonight again. Lord, I thank you for the privilege that I have in Christ to be a new creation. All things indeed have passed away. All things have become new for me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. You say, Lord, I thank you that through your baptism into death, raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, I am privileged to walk in the newness of life. Begin to thank God for the privilege to walk in the newness of life. Lord, I appreciate you. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege that I have this morning to walk in the newness of life. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, ancient of days. 
lift up your voice and thank God. It is a privilege. It is not our right. It is by grace that we enjoy these things. Thank you, sweet spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. You will say, Lord, I thank you for the abundant life you have given me through Christ Jesus. Begin to thank God. Thank you, Lord, for the abundant life you have given me through Christ Jesus. It is through Christ Jesus you are and you enjoy abundant life. Thank you, Jesus, for the abundant life I am enjoying through Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. You will now declare and say, Lord, I declare that I am a new creation in Christ. All things have passed away. All things have become new for me. Begin to mention different areas of your life. Father, I thank you, Lord. And I am declaring right now that I am a new creation. We are talking about our rights, our right to abundant life. Declare these things. They are your rights. Declare them. Declare these words to this morning. I declare that I am a new creation in Christ. All things have passed away. All things have become new for me in the name of Jesus. I do not live in the past. I live in the reality of everything that Jesus represents before God. In the name of Jesus. I declare I am a new creation in Christ. All things have passed away and all things have become new for me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are declaring. You will say, Father, I embrace the fullness of life that Jesus came to give me. And I reject any attempt by the enemy to steal, to kill, or to destroy it. Begin to declare this once again in the name of Jesus. Father, I embrace the fullness of life that Jesus came to give to me. And I reject any attempt by the enemy to steal, to kill, or to destroy it in the name of Jesus. Father, I embrace the fullness of the life that Jesus came to give to me. And I reject any attempt by the enemy to steal, to kill, or to destroy it in the name of Jesus. That is my declaration this morning. I embrace everything Jesus represents before you. In the name of Jesus, I stand, I live, I dwell in that dominion that Jesus has given to me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In the name of Jesus, I walk in the newness of life that is mine through the resurrection of Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I walk in the newness of life that is mine through Christ's resurrection. In the name of Jesus, I walk in the newness of life. In that newness of life, I walk in it in the name of Jesus. I want you to declare these words. They are your right. Declare them, declare them, declare them. Let heaven hear your voice. Let hell also hear your voice this morning. That you know what you're writing before your father. In the name of Jesus, I walk in the newness of life that is mine. True Christ's resurrection. In the name of Jesus, I walk in the newness of life that is mine. True Christ's resurrection. In the name of Jesus. 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 I walk in the newness of life that is mine through Christ's resurrection in the name of Jesus. In bread do sota la gada, en gred do soso zi e kabala na ma shebra do sota, en gred do sota li andele de bosha, in mara de bo sota li andele de bosha, ro de sota la gada, e de bo sota. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I declare that I am buried with Christ and raised to a new life by the glory of the Father. Declare these words in the name of Jesus. 
I declare that I am buried with Christ and raised to a new life by the glory of the Father in the name of Jesus. These are my declarations this morning. Heaven is here in the echoes of heaven. They are a witness to this in the name of Jesus. I declare that I am buried with Christ and raised to a new life by the glory of the Father in the name of Jesus. I am raised to a new life in the name of Jesus. I am raised to a new life in the name of Jesus. This is my right. I am declaring them this morning in the name of Jesus. I begin to walk in the experience and the life of this my declaration. In the name of Jesus. I begin to walk in the experience of my declaration. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have declared. Lord, I receive the abundant life you promised. Filled with your peace, with your joy, and with your blessings. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive the abundant life you have promised me. Filled with your peace, your joy, and your blessings. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive the abundant life you have promised. Filled with your peace, your joy, and your blessing. In the name of Jesus. This is my experience, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, I receive the abundant life you promised me. It is filled with your peace. It is filled with your joy. It is filled with blessings. In the name of Jesus, I receive that abundant life. I declare that it is my right, O oh Lord, by the grace that you have given. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive the abundant life you promised. Filled with your peace, joy, and blessings. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are declaring. You say, by faith, I walk in the new life that Christ has made available for me, leaving behind my old ways. Declare this was by faith. I walk in the new life that Christ has made available for me, leaving behind me my old ways in the name of Jesus. By faith, I walk in the new life that Christ has made available for me. Leaving behind my old ways in the name of Jesus. I walk by faith in the new life Christ has made available for me. Leaving behind me the old ways in the name of Jesus. By faith in the name of Jesus. I walk in the new life Christ has made available for me. In the name of Jesus. By faith I walk in the new life Christ has made available for me. In the name of Jesus. By faith I walk in the new life. Christ has made available for me in the name of Jesus. By faith, I walk in the new life. Christ has made available in the name of Jesus. By faith, I walk in the new life Christ has made available for me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I proclaim that in Christ, I have been transformed and made new. The old is gone and the new is here. In the name of Jesus, begin to declare this into your life. Begin to declare this into every area of your life. Begin to declare these words into every area, every compartment of your life. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim that in Christ I have been transformed and made new. The old has gone and the new is here in the name of Jesus. I proclaim that in Christ I have been transformed and made new. The old has gone and the new is here in the name of Jesus. The old is gone. The new is here in the name of Jesus. I proclaim that in Christ, I have been transformed and made new. In Christ, I have been transformed and made new. In Christ, I have been transformed and made new. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I proclaim that in Christ I have been transformed and made new. The old is gone and the new is here in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We are going to pray in the Holy Spirit for some minutes. But I want us to take a look at John 10:10 10, 10 again. I'll just give a perspective to it and we'll use that perspective to pray in the spirit for a few minutes. 10:10 10, 10 says what? The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. That is describing who? Who is that describing? The thief. These words are in red letter written by Jesus, the words of Jesus directly. He said, "I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. So see two things now. If you see a gun in the hand of a thief, what does it mean? And if you see a gun in the hand of your own security man, what does it mean? One is to do what? To kill, to steal, and to destroy. But the other one is to do what? Provide peace, protection around you. You will hold this in your mind as what Jesus Christ has come to do in our life. That is our right. You might not have declared these words well. I want you to declare these words in the spirit. Hold somebody beside you and pray in the Holy Ghost for the next three minutes. Hold somebody beside you and declare these words, tongues of fire. Declare them in just three minutes. It is your right. Declare them in the Holy Ghost. Makabaraba. Radese telegede. Engredese tele. Madoso tole debo. Imbari debo sota. Aradese zeke tele de. Rodoso sote. Rezeke tele bakara. Langaboni makanda lava. house this morning. It says when they catch the thief as written in the scripture, he is meant to pay how many folds back? Seven folds. He will be caught and he will pay what? In seven folds. You will now declare into your life whatever it is that that enemy that has come to kill, steal and destroy has taken in my life. Lord, return it to me back as a right to me in seven folds. Declare this words now in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever it is that is in my life that has been stolen, 
Father, let them be restored in sevenfold in my life. In the name of Jesus, let them be restored in the sevenfold you have commanded. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is that the enemy, that the thief has stolen in my life, they are returned to me in sevenfold. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whatever it is that the enemy, that the thief has stolen in my life, they are restored to me this morning in seven folds in the name of Jesus. They are restored to me in seven folds in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. All you just say now is thank you, Jesus. Say 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 thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't get tired of saying it. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh Lord, we worship you. Oh Lord, we worship you. To you alone be all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Lord, we are so grateful for our right that we have to a new and abundant life. We are coming back to this to this place with testimonies in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' most exalted name, we are praying.